Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn, Ledbetter Certified Instructor and former professional tour player and today I want to talk to you about how to make the best possible contact by optimizing your weight shift in your feet and I'm talking right to left and specifically in your right foot where you want to feel that in your backswing so you can get compression and you can get the correct coil up in your backswing to deliver it into the ball. So let's do it. All right, so I want you to really pay attention on the next swing that you take, where your weight is in your feet. And we're gonna just take, take the club away first. We don't need it right now. And I want you to just do some turns. And I want you to kind of start paying attention to whether your weight goes on the outside edges of your feet or whether your weight stays in the middle as you're turning. So take a couple of swings without a club and just kind of get aware of that kind of weight in your feet on as it relates to the edges of your feet. So now let's grab our club and actually do the same thing. We're gonna take some practice swings and we're gonna start paying attention to where that weight is in our feet as it relates to our edges of our feet. Is it on the outside? Is it on the inside? Is it in the middle? Where is that weight? Because that's really important to understand the correct coil and to get into the right positions in the backswing. So focusing on your weight and where it's placed in your feet throughout your backswing really will help us trigger a positive chain reaction in the rest of our swing where we actually eliminate some swing thoughts and are able to just fix little things by fixing our weight. So where should the weight be as you're taking your club back from setup to the top position? Your weight should really feel like it stays a little bit on that inside edge of your trail foot. So you don't ever really want to feel like your weight goes to the outside because in order for your weight to go to the outside, if you see this, I'm going to have to sway off with my hip. And that's what we don't want to do. If we are taking our club back, number one enemy is the hip sway. Because what happens, you're really moving the center of your body, the center of your gravity, and that's going to cause all kinds of compensations throughout your swing, in the back swing, in the impact, and also in the finish. And we just don't want to have to deal with that. So if you can actually manage to keep your weight much more on the inside of that trail foot. So when I take my club back, see how my left knee starts going forward, my right knee starts straightening a little bit. It does not lock out. There's no lockout happening here, but it does just like straighten out a touch compared to setup. And my weight really kind of stays. I'm feeling like I'm winding up against this and I'm stacking over that left foot while I'm turning back. And really, this should feel like it's almost a little off the ground. You could fit a T under here. If you were to shove a T under here, you should be able to. And this really helps you to keep from swaying. Because now, if I were to sway, my weight will go over the center or outside of my foot. So if you're swaying, you don't have to actually focus on your swaying. All you have to focus on is your weight staying on that inside edge of your right foot. And you can take a ball. That's what I do sometimes. Take a ball and kind of stand on it a little bit like this throughout some of the practice swings. So you put it under the outside edge of your foot and this will really kind of make it impossible for you. Not impossible, but hard to keep your weight, to get your weight on the outside. So this will keep your weight on the inside more naturally and it's gonna keep that hip in because now if I tried to sway, I mean, that's a lot of work. Nobody wants to actually swing the golf club like this. So that is a really simple drill. You can also do the other side. So you can also actually put it under the left side of your foot. And this is counterintuitive, but bear with me, hang in there, hear me out, because now you really have to work hard for your weight not to go to the outside. And we do want to actually work and activate the muscles that we want to activate in the swing. So it's a lot easier to put it under the right side because then it's just keeping you from doing it. It's a lot harder to put it under the side that you actually want to keep your weight on because now you're going to be pushing and you're going to actively try to keep that weight on the inside of that trail foot, which is awesome. So I prefer it this way because it activates my muscles that way. And now I have to actually work to stay there and be able to push to the target. And that's really what I love to do. So these type of drills, it's not very technical. It's a feeling. It's really kind of improving, bettering and optimizing the swing from the ground up, literally in this case. So we don't have to think about not swaying or turning our hip a certain way, because that's to me a lot harder to actually feel and reference as you're swinging. Something like weight and the connection to the ground is something we're very comfortable with, something that we do every day, walking, driving. We have a lot of feel on the bottom of our feet because that's, you know, we have to. This is, you know, it's a big part of our life, how we move, how we operate. So, all right, let's actually hit a ball with that feeling and feeling like you're really coiling up against and stacking over that right foot. So I'm going to really kind of start out in my setup 
to hold against this. I'm going to lift the outside of my right foot up a little bit. And you can do this even on the course. You don't just have to do this on the range. I mean, you couldn't even tell that I just kind of shifted my weight onto that inside of my right foot. It's really going to help with your contact. It's really going to help with your compression. And it's really going to help you get towards that target in your transition, not swaying off the ball. So much compression. You guys are going to love this drill. That was flushed and I'm sure you're going to start flushing it too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, hit that like button, and I can't wait to see you next time.